guys, Coach Jay here with you again. I'm going to show you a live saving dribble. Uh, what you're about to see here is this patient player is about to cross the ball, which is good, but I'm not really a fan of crossing right there when he crosses. He could have done something else. I'm not a fan of lifting the ball at all. Uh, I really, I, I tell my guys, don't lift the ball unless it's necessary. And so every time you lift the ball, it's more difficult for the player to intercept the ball. So right there when he crosses, he could have done what I call a left fat pirate reverse dribble. As he kicks there, he could have fit a kick, roll his foot over the ball, pirate to the left, pirate to the right foot, of course, regain control with the right foot, with a long touch, and then a short touch uh, inward towards the goalie. Then he could have done a whole lot more things with the ball. So that's the left fan pirate reverse dribble. But could put it on target. And that is very good footwork by Jaggy. Keeps his bit of kick. Roll his foot over the ball. Pirate to the left. Pivot on the right foot, of course, we gain control with the right foot with a long touch and then a short touch uh, inward towards the goalie. He could have also done what I call a left fit hook followed by a long right touch. The reason the long right touch is because right there, fit to the left, hook, and then the quick long touch, a uh, right touch. Uh, the reason the long touch is because it's between two players, so he's advancing the ball quick uh, so he can get inward. Right there, a fit and a hook and a quick right touch, a long touch, going past those two players. Then he would have regained control with a short right touch, angling towards positioning himself for kicking or for passing the ball. Right there, uh, 20 degree fit, left hook, right there when he kicks, no kick, but a hook, boom, and then a long right touch, boom, going in between those two players, then he will regain control, going inward towards the, the field, positioning himself, like widening the angle so he could kick or pass the ball, or even continue through.